We know that about one in five patients who appear to be entirely vegetative may actually be conscious and simply unable to respond. What this new study provides is a technique for detecting those patients that is more sensitive than other methods that we have. So what we did is we showed an Alfred Hitchcock movie to healthy participants while they lie in the scanner. And what we found is that in certain moments in the movie that were very suspenseful, they all had highly increased brain activity. What we were able then to observe is that the patient who had been unresponsive for 16 years had exactly the same brain pattern uh, showing increased activity in the same brain regions at the same time that healthy individuals found very suspenseful. What we wanted was a movie that was short and had a, a complete plot. We can only scan people for seven or eight minutes, so we needed something that had a start and a middle and an end all within that time frame. And Alfred Hitchcock made a, a number of short movies that had the entire thing wrapped up into a few minutes. And so in that, in that respect, this movie was perfect. What we're really trying to achieve here uh, is to find ways of identifying patients who are actually conscious despite appearing to be non-responsive and perhaps in a vegetative state in order that we can allow them to play some role in what happens to them, therapeutic choices, rehabilitation, these sorts of things, even improving their quality of life in, in really small ways like asking them what they would like to watch on television. So this is one step towards that goal of identifying these patients and finding a way of communicating with them.